doing a bunch of stuff off camera just so that uh, we can get into this episode running. Um, I built up some fence. I got some visiting mamas in it. That's okay. Got uh, plenty more chickens and lots of more cows. And we'll keep them happy by keeping them nice and fed. Oh, I also finally got myself a fishing rod. <laughs> I had three sticks, three strings, figured might as well craft one together just in case, you know, I wanted to start fishing or something. Uh, so we'll quickly feed some cows. Any more? If not, that's okay. We will need to eventually grow out our pen a little bit just so that we can make sure that, uh, Cows don't become a little bit too cramped in their environment, but they're okay for now. Uh, we will have to start, um, you know, setting the numbers because we like beef and leather, but they don't need to know that. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, so yeah, there was another wandering villager or trader. Um, he may have flown the coop because uh, now it's just the llamas. So, oh no, he's hiding. <laughs> he's right here. You can tell he sort of gave himself like an invisibility potion because you just see the little squiggles. And if I click, I'm still able to buy stuff even though his stuff is crap. So, there we go. Um, been working on my farm a little bit just to make sure my wheat is good uh, decorated with the jack-o-lanterns that I um, had acquired last episode so you know as we near Halloween you know maybe we'll get a little bit more decorating going on because uh, spirit of Halloween and all that uh, did some sort of landscaping to just make sure everything is sort of a little bit tidier around the area um, I do sort of like the area that uh, I spawned in, so we'll keep that going. Uh, as such, um, we could probably do a little bit of expanding of our house. Uh, and like I said, I tend to like the um, compact style of, of, this, particular, um, of this particular house, because, you know, all you need is a couple of ovens, a bed, lots of storage to store your stuff in. But, you know, eventually we will need to do some stuff. Oh, geez, almost forgot the most important thing. Uh, put a scarecrow in our uh, in our garden here. Uh, so yeah, made an armor stand, donned him our sort of zombie armor that we got uh, a couple of episodes ago. Uh, and I don't want to, okay, so yeah, if you crouch, you can actually position the armor stand in various poses. I kind of like that one, so there he stays. Um, and I used a little bit of the iron to make some lanterns, so the um, the farm is nice and bright. Um, sorry, but like I was saying, I'm going to do some more stuff uh, off camera just so that uh, when uh, we get into these episodes, I can just start start the episode off running. I know it's probably not the most um, exciting footage just to watch me mine or watch me farm. So we'll try and sort of get a couple of projects underway. Um, we have a couple things to do this episode. Unfortunately, not one of them. Um, one of them is not mining for diamonds, but we will be doing that fairly soon. I do want to get diamonds because there's a whole other uh, portal there's there's another dimension that you can get into as far as minecraft is concerned um which uh amps it up to 11 so um would like to do that uh like i said get into the sort of later parts of the game and see if we can take on uh some of the end bosses and, and sort of get this thing cleared because i've never actually done that before but we what we are going to do first um we'll probably hit another time lapse uh, we're going to expand our house, and since I like the nice compact uh, above ground uh, thing that I got going here, uh, what I tend to do is go under. So 
we will start digging out here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've gotten some materials to use, so we'll just sort of skip ahead. Um, and then once we get to the end of it, um, you know, it'll start expanding into sort of what we're going to be doing in the later episodes. Uh, stuff like making potions or enchanting armor and tools and stuff like that. So, you know, we need sort of the room to do that. So we'll be right back after we get this all dug out. So this will be the start of my expansion. Um, I'll put like building blocks and dies and other sort of cool stuff here, but I'll basically, this will be my um, expansion hub for three different things. I'll still continue to go downwards. That will be my enchanting area. Uh, and then in maybe one or two or three rooms off to the sides here just to sort of, you know, like I said, give us more space to do what we want to do. So that's that. Oh, I was going to put some stuff away too. Jeez, hold on. Okay, a little bit more back and forth than I wanted to do, but I think that should cover it. Uh, let me just use my eggs here, see if we can't get any more chickens. Yep, there's one. Okay. And that's how my chicken population was growing here for a moment. Uh, so before we venture off into our next thing, we wanted to see if we can grab a horse. You know what? I'm going to grab the bed just in case. can't remember where... Oh, I put it up here, didn't I? Yep. Uh, we have ourselves a saddle and some iron horse armor, so let's see if we can't... Uh, see if we can't find a horse. Uh, as I post this... Um, Minecraft Live of 2020 should be coming up in a couple of days, and I've never actually, you know, made it to a Minecon or seen any of their online events, so it should be quite fun. Um, now that I'm playing this sort of regular again, uh, it'd be nice to see uh, what they have in store. Hello, brown sheepies. And white sheepies, too. Can I get your fur? Yes, you can. That's how I was getting the brown carpet. I was actually, I found a brown sheep and I exploited his fur for a couple of days. But now we're on the move for a horse. And I thought I saw a couple wandering around here the other day as I was building up supplies. So we'll see if we can't, uh, can't get, uh, get a horse in our, in our household. Uh, it'll be nice for uh, when we want to travel and because uh, they 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 travel quickly as horses do um, one of the blocks are doing in the river there but okay when stuff happens in minecraft yep we've got a floating log stuff happens in minecraft best not to just sort of you know go with the flow Ah, there's some horses. So, I don't... Uh, let's try this again. I don't think you need to feed them overly hard before they warm up to you. All you need to do is just be persistent. Uh, I sort of like the, this, this golden-maned, dark brown... Hello, horse. Have some hay. 
Horses like hay too. Horses like a lot of things. I think. Apples. Uh, okay, so bring on the horse and oh, he likes me already. Uh, he's a pretty good horse. He's got full, full hearts. <laughs> but you know what? Since there's a couple here, why not try another one and see what happens? Can I go on you? Do you like me? He likes me too. Oh, he's got more hearts. And the question is, is he faster? How about you? Nope. When horses don't like you, they'll kick you off. Oh, there you go. This one's got 11 hearts too. Uh, the white spotted. You know what? One heart. I'm not gonna. I'm sticking with my first choice. Hello, Mr. Horse. All right, and then you open up your inventory, and you can saddle him. Oh yeah, he's a pretty quick horse. Oh, I like my decision. Okay, we'll keep this one. You can travel pretty quickly with a horse, uh, which will be useful when we start, uh, start going around the landscape. But for now, it's just a matter of making sure we had one, so you'll do nicely to come back to our house. You can go over the carpet too, but... He's free to wander around with the chickens for now. We'll make you a proper stable in a future episode, I'm sure. All right, well, that was cool. Another thing I uh, forgot to mention, um, in case you didn't see, I've actually crafted myself full iron armor. So uh, we are pretty good as far as... Uh, Weapons and armor are concerned. Aren't we, horsey friend? Yes, we are. Alright. Now, the last thing I wanted to do this episode, uh, which was go back to... Ah, uh, decided to unhide yourself, eh? Uh -huh. uh, we're going back to the desert, because as I was going through the last episode's footage... Um, and I'll probably put up a screenshot right now. Um, there was something that caught my eye. And upon further investigation, um, we're going to go and check it out. Because, um, you know, it's about to become night again. I don't know. Do I want to go? You know what? We're going to wait until the next day. You know what? We'll take our horse, too. So, we'll wait for the next day to arrive. Maybe what we'll do is we'll harvest our wheat, because our wheat is ready to go. Oh, we got our first pumpkin, too! Yeah, so I got some more pumpkin seeds uh, from my initial, um, uh, my initial pumpkin patch. So what they'll do, and I, I sort of put this in a checkered pattern, but pumpkins will take one of four spots from the vine to actually come down on um, and then as soon as you harvest the pumpkin but not the vine itself the vine is free to make more pumpkins so that's always nice but like we said wheat is ready to go so let's harvest it and we'll be right back in a moment nothing else going to interrupt my stuff skeleton. I haven't made myself a bow yet. I think I got a one of the, well, I got a bow or two from, I, I'm thinking, uh, almost dead skeletons. Um, but the, uh, uh, the durability on them would not be so great. So um, We'll make ourselves a proper bow, or repair those bows to full durability at a later date. Um, but we also need arrows, so, you know, oh, sorry, horsey. So we'll 
go, go back. It's sort of, well, it was at our temple area, but over this way a bit. Um, and when I saw it, I was like, all right, well, I'll save this for the next episode because we are... It's a deserted village. And you can tell it's a deserted village by the cobwebs. Um, <laughs> I didn't know these existed in Minecraft. And there's something moving in there. Oh, zombie. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm not saying no because I'm scared. I'm saying no because I want. Okay. We should be safe in there. I want to keep some zombie villagers because I want to cure them at some point. I don't know if they'll survive <laughs> um, for as long as it will take me to either find or um, craft some potions. Oh, I got some good stuff here. Some more iron armor and some more iron ingots. I'll leave the trees for now. So yeah, we can pick this village dry of various stuff if there's actually stuff in here. But I'm just wondering if there's... The first time I found a deserted village, A, it blew my mind because I didn't think these things existed. But there was something in there and I'm wondering if all zombie or that <laughs> all zombies jumping on the beds. You know what? stay in there too um hey we got some oh we got some potatoes okay we're taking these at the very least they still had crops so we can add this to our garden is it just potatoes which is fine potatoes are awesome i love growing potatoes in minecraft um, but there was something in the first deserted village that i found and i want to know if it's something that will be here as well because it'll be very cool if it is uh, doo -doo -doo. okay so there is there anything in this building other than zombies jumping on the bed yeah i won't be sore if these zombie villagers do not stay stick around but if they do that would be cool <laughs> Okay, this is just more wheat, so we don't care about that. We do want the bell, though. Actually. Uh, can I ring the bell? Okay. I heard that if the bell shimmers, then there's a, uh, um, a stronghold nearby, which there is not in this case. Uh, looks like we're on top of a ravine, too. Oof. Be careful where you're stepping, because if you fall down there, it's not a good sign. Uh, but we could exploit that for any riches if there's any down there. Carrots, that's what I was looking for. Uh, villages are always good for gathering crops. And since no one's going to be around here to appreciate the carrots, we might as well take them for ourselves. Pretty expansive village from what I see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jeez. You know what? Get rid of this. Oh, is that it? It's a kitty cat. Okay, kitty cats are still around, so um sorry kitty cat, we'll come back for you. I wanted to get ourselves a cat. Oh, all right, we got ourselves a blast furnace here too. So we don't have to craft a lot of this stuff. We can just take it. Um, there was bookshelves and a lectern in that other building, but we need we need a pickaxe with uh, silk touch. Uh, otherwise, it'll just get destroyed if we try and mine it. Uh, we need to get over to the other side of this ravine to check out the other side of the village. Yeah, a little bit of a score here. Um, still, nothing earth-shattering, but, you know, getting getting more vegetables for our garden. Um, plenty of string from the... Uh, oh, 
potted plant. I'll take that. Can I take that? I am full up. You know what? We'll take the, the flower pot. There's a staircase. Uh, there's a cartography table, so we can get that. More potatoes. Won't. Don't mind if I do. Oh, oh, where are you going, potatoes? Seriously? Am I? I am full from potatoes. I. Yep, I am full from potatoes. All right, we'll be back for you. Uh, can you know what? Even better idea. We'll just plant. We'll just replant. How's that? Cyan bed. Some more wheat. Some more zombie villagers. So you can stay in there. Yes, yes. Pig, pig farm. You guys can uh, stick around for a bit. And the village continues up here. Oh, some more zombie villagers. Crafting tables, lots of potted plants with uh, stuff in them. Uh, but what I was looking for was to see if there was a ruined portal, nether portal here. Which it doesn't look like there is. So perhaps it's not something that's uh, commonly found in deserted village villages, uh, but it was worth a shot. Uh, that way, if we saw a ruined portal, not that I'd want to anchor it sort of at this village, but, uh, you know, at least it would be a good uh, shortcut into the nether if we wanted to sort of take that route. Uh, but it looks like we've, uh, we've gone through the village in its entirety uh, and scored ourselves uh, some stuff for later on. So let's see if we can find our horse. Here's my horse. And only the one chest, too. That seems kind of strange, usually. Did you follow me, traveling merchant guy? Uh, Alright, let's... Are you the same one? No, you're a different one. But you got nothing I want. So, let's ride back home. And the sun is setting. Yeah, hopefully we'll get into some more exciting stuff. Uh, get into mining deeper where we can find lapis and gold and redstone and diamonds and get ourselves a portals to the nether because uh, those are always fun to uh, explore even if they are a death trap. But you know, much like any structure, you need the building blocks, and sort of that's what these first episodes are. They're just us starting off, you know, getting a foothold and getting things started. Much like these crops. So now that we have potatoes, we are going to get them growing.
piece of experience wanting to uh, find its way to me, but just won't. All right. And the last thing are these carrots. So that's why I made the garden as big as I did. Because we needed to start growing everything. Okay, so we'll get more carrots once those are mature. And some more rotten flesh because, you know, we're not always short on the rotten flesh. And before I go, let's, you know what, I'm going to travel back to our original cave spot where we first mined some iron and see if we can get down to the magic uh, level where it gets us uh, any of the cool stuff and see if we can, uh, I don't know, make ourselves lucky within the next five minutes or so. for a bit uh, didn't find anything other than some iron and some coal but we did find some lava so since we have buckets of water we'll just make it so that it's a little bit easier to navigate through um, while I did want a lava source uh, to fill buckets for now I just want to get past this because we have another lava source. I just wanted to see if this produced anything of value, and the answer is unfortunately no. So as we're about to burn out uh, another stone pickaxe, I've been saving the iron for uh, the iron pickaxe for anything of value. Uh, I think we're gonna have to call it there. Um, this mine just isn't producing anything as of right yet. Uh, and I screwed up my stairs, so give me a moment, er, and I'll meet you guys back topside. And it's night out, so let's take our um, poor mining, mining frustration out on some mobs, shall we? At least to close out the episode. Okay. Go away and die again. Jeez, lots of skeletons. There we go. At least thin their numbers down. Maybe we'll get some arrows. What I should really do is make myself a shield. I'm surprised I haven't gone down that road yet. If, well, at least we got them all. All right. Another day is done. So that was it for this episode of Minecraft. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Um, let me know what, uh, how you play your Minecraft game, or if there's anything that you'd like me to sort of um, do in my own adventures. Uh, I'm sort of open for trying stuff and learning new things. Um, the reason why I like Minecraft so much is it's very open-ended. Um, and subscribe to my channel for more, uh, as I'll be playing more Minecraft in the near future. Until then... Oh. Game
game on, have fun, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Ruin my feet. Bye.